In this video, we will demonstrate how to take a urine sample for use in this practical class. You will take four samples altogether. To do this, collect a set of 12 tubes as shown here. You will then need to label your tubes so you do not get them mixed up during the class. The white top 30ml tubes will already have a sticker showing the time point and the ion being tested stuck to the tube, so all you will need to do is add your initials to these tubes. For the 50ml tubes, you will need to add the time point, t equals 0, t equals 1, t equals 2 and t equals 3 to each of the tubes respectively, and also add your initials to each of these tubes. Do make sure you include your initials on each of your tubes, since in between sample times you will be leaving your tubes on a bench put aside for this purpose, and you will need some way of telling your tubes from everyone else's. Lastly, make sure your beaker is also labelled with your initials. Before heading down to the toilets to collect your sample, make sure you remove your lab coat before leaving the class as you are not allowed to walk around the CPC while still wearing your lab coats. To collect a sample, you will need to take your beaker, the 50ml falcon tube for the respective time point, in this case t equals zero, and your texter. In the bathrooms you will find a set of kitchen scales. To turn them on, press the tear button. The scales measure in several different units. If grams are not being displayed, press the units button several times until grams is displayed at the top of the screen. You can then place your empty beaker onto the scales. In this example, the beaker weighs 46 grams. You should write this empty weight onto the side of your beaker. You only need to measure the volume of the last three samples that you collect. That is, t equals 1, t equals 2, and t equals 3. You do not need to measure the volume of t equals 0, the initial void volume. Once you have weighed your empty beaker, you may collect your sample. Do this by emptying your bladder completely into the beaker. Once you have done this, for t equals 0, you then simply have to pour around 45 mils of sample into the 50 mil falcon tube. For the other time points, before collecting the urine sample you will need to measure the volume first. To do this, after collecting your urine into the beaker, place the beaker back onto the scales and again measure the weight of the beaker plus the urine. Since you know the weight of the empty beaker, you can now calculate the weight of the urine. Since aqueous solutions have approximately the same density as water, that is 1 gram per mil, we can use the weight of the urine in order to accurately measure its volume. In this example, the beaker plus urine weighed 164 grams. The empty beaker weighed 46 grams. So therefore the weight of the urine was 118 grams. In other words, we have 118 mils of urine. Once you have measured the volume of your urine, pour approximately 45 mils of urine into the 50 mil falcon tube. Make sure you recap the tube tightly to prevent spills on the way back to the lab. Then dispose of the remaining urine into the toilets. Make sure you rinse your beaker before returning to class, but do not under any circumstances pour either urine or the rinsing from the beaker down the sink. Only pour urine or rinsings from your beaker into the toilets. Once you have done this, return to class. Back in class, the group members responsible will need to transfer 10 mils of sample into each of the two 30 mil tubes for that respective time point. This can be done using the gradations on the sides of the tubes and a transfer pipette. You can fill the tubes almost up to 10 mils, roughly, and then get your eye down to the level of the markings and using the transfer pipette, just add sample drop by drop 
until the bottom of the meniscus or the bottom of the bubbles is at 10 mils. Once you have done this, repeat the process for the second tube. These two tubes will be used to measure the concentration of sodium and potassium, while the remaining sample in the 50ml Falcon tube will be used to measure osmolality and pH.